Well, Friday's at 4 o'clock. We honor heroes in our community. And this week, you may have seen this story right here on NBC4. L.A. County Fire's elite urban search and rescue team saving a dog trapped 40 feet down a hole in Malibu. Oh, look at him. Kathy Vara is here now with their story in this week's For Our Heroes. Yeah, isn't he a dirty yes. little nugget in that video? <laughs> well, firefighters showed us how they use teamwork and special skills and equipment to pull this rescue off and why the save meant so much to the dog's owners. It was about a 30 foot, 40 foot vertical shaft full of mud. A dog trapped in an abandoned well in Malibu. A call came into LA County's urban search and rescue. Well, that made it more dangerous because now we're going below ground. The hole was small, just 8 to 10 inches. Big enough for a dog, but not big enough for a person. The rescue would require special equipment and the skills of the elite seven person team. We had to dig down around around that opening and uh, remove some of the bricks to make the hole big enough for a person. And anything that might have fallen on that dog could have been fatal for the uh, for Pablo the pooch. Next, rescuers check the air quality and establish a communication system. We have mics. Uh, we have like throat mics, kind of like uh, the military has that we'll use. Rescuer ready. Air supply ready. Air supply ready. All while Air firefighter air engineer air Jay Sartoris, air dressed air in full hazardous material air protection air gear, air prepares to be lowered air into air the air dark, air narrow air shaft. You're totally encapsulated in uh, the suit for hazardous materials. Um, so I have my rescue harness on top of that, but I'm basically in a giant Ziploc bag, if you will. The next step to carefully ease our tourists into the hole and down to the dog. And because it was down in a, a well, that fire back in December had burned above it and dropped all the nasty soot and bl black tar. The dog was suction cupped, stuck in mud. So it wasn't going to move any of its uh, little limbs. Carefully, the firefighter tries to scoop the dog up. So when I picked up the dog, it was kind of like just tugging on it until it released. Kind of heard like the pop. Stop! Oh, stop! Stop! stop. stop. You ready with the dog? Pass, pass him over here. Sir, ah. step back away ah. from the hole. Step away from ah. the hole. Ah. Dried him up. He was shivering. He was, seemed hungry and scared. Give him some so we can take that pole. So we just hose him off. Use some soap, shampoo. But soon the family was reunited with their tiny Yorkie, Pablo. They lost their home during the fires, knowing that we could help the family get some piece of, you know, a family member back to them was, was kind of a, the fun part of the whole operation. Oh, doesn't look like a Yorkie there, does he? Oh, if you know a hero in your community, please email us at 4 at NBCUNI.com. We'll be sharing their stories every Friday on the NBC4 News at 4.